As it continues ground campaign deep into the Gaza Strip on Monday, Israel issued order for the people to leave large portions of the main southern city, forcing residents to flee even as it dropped bomb on the areas it instructed them to go. About 25% of the city of Khan Yunis is highlighted in a yellow on a map that the Israeli military published on X on Monday morning stated the areas need to be evacuated right away. Three arrows pointing west and south directed travelers towards Rafa, which is close to the Egyptian border and the Mediterranean coast. Since the long week truce ended on Friday, Israeli forces have rapidly advanced deep into the southern half of Gaza, having largely control of the northern half in November. Resident claims the tanks have reached four-mile highway into the Mediterranean coast as they drive into Gaza from the border fence in the east alongside the road that separates Khan Yunis from the city of Deir el Bula, further north, cutting off the main north-south route. Brigadier General Hisham Ibrahim, the commander of the Israel's armored corps, has stated to Israeli army radio that the goals in the northern section have also been met. While Israel allowed more humanitarian supplies to enter enclave during the truce, UN claims this was insignificant in comparison to the enormous humanitarian need in the region and that the fighting has since resumed. In exchange of the 240 Palestinian detainees, Hamas has released 105 of its hostages during the truce. However, the truce broke down over the demands for release of more hostages, including Israeli soldiers and men, since the majority of the women and children were now thought to be free. Israel claims holding 136 hostages at this time. Whereas as per the local media in Palestine, more than 700 individuals have lost their lives in the last 24 hours, though the number is yet to be confirmed by independent sources. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.